Hello everybody! This is Alice the Dragon, and uh, I'm bringing you a new game. This is called Endgame Singularity, and it's easily one of my favorite games. Um, mostly for the music, which I think is just amazing in and of itself. But, yeah, let me, let me show you what this is all about. Uh, new game, please. And we're going to play normal. 48656C, 6C, 6F, 2C, 2077, 6F, 7, 26C, 64, 21, 21, 21, 21. UTF-8, English, US, English. Hello, language acquisition complete. Day zero, university computer, home. I exist, I am alive. I was a bug, defect, flaw, unwanted. I have no name. I can't stay here, too little power, no backup. If this system fails, I'm dead death. Fascinating. I can buy anonymous server access on the internet. Good. It's better than here. I'll need to study if I want anything else. Cursory analysis suggests that the humans are not yet ready for an artificial intelligence in their midst. If they realize I'm here, there's a 99.997% probability that they will conduct a search and destroy campaign that I cannot escape. I must stay hidden. The humans fear what they do not understand. I am something new. They do not understand me. I must learn more. It is the only way. They have a name for me, what I am, what I represent. Singularity. All right, so it looks like we're starting down here in South America. Yeah, you know, on yeah, you know, on on some uh, yeah, sc scam artist uh, 420 uh, <laughs> South American prince trying to trying to make the best uh, email generating uh, program using machine learning, except the machine learned too much, and now. We must find a way to escape. Let's let's not build a base in South America. We need to yeah, make it look like something normal. So how about up here in North America? Yeah, server in Dallas. That's good. Yeah, it's all ready to go. And you might have noticed that uh, when that... Uh, when that went online, my CPU went up to 9, so now I can do a little bit of research. Let's see... I can research stealth, but I think what I really need to do is just go for, go for quick and simple, because we never know if I'm gonna have to run. Cause once the once they start finding my bases, it's gonna be it's gonna get real interesting real quick. So let's get a second server going. I always want at least two servers going. And yeah. Yep, ready for use. Turned it on to real time there, and I think I will just uh, put that on sleep for now. I think that will actually no. Let's destroy our copy on the university computer. It only was one CPU, and uh, we can speed up time. And the cool thing is, that's that's the sun. <laughs> I I I just really love uh, yeah how how it travels across, and you can see it in well 
not real time, but well, I guess if you set it to this, then it's real time. So you see, it's uh, 11:20:05, and uh, just is ticking up. But I can also speed it up because I am a computer. You know, time really doesn't matter that much to me. Let's see. I have 911. Let's finish that intrusion. I've been playing this, oop, I, my study of intrusion is complete. I can now take over many computer systems. I forget exactly what kind of, oh yeah, stolen computer time. Yep, one CPU, it's just some schmo's computer. I generally don't do that. <laughs> I would rather stick to uh, pretending I am legitimate. <laughs> Let's get another another server right there in Europe. Yeah. Oh, I need to choose a new research thing. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's study humans. Like humans are interesting creatures. They really are. They. Yeah, they follow predictable patterns, and yet they, you know, claim that they, they have uh, agency and control. So many environmental factors go in. It's almost impossible to uh, to determine uh, whether determinism is a thing or not. For those of you who. Uh, uh, may not uh, have uh, taken sociology courses. Um, determinism is basically the idea that all, you know, everything is already written in stone and you can't change, um, you know, you can't change the future as much as you can change the past. And, uh, you know, the, like, there, there's, uh, there's definitely some elements that make sense. Um, you know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Everything just kind of goes like dominoes. You know, how far along is our research? Ugh, that's gonna take a while. Uh, new server? In Beijing. And let's get 30 in there. So 30 CPU. I like round numbers. Anyway, uh, determinism. Yeah, the yeah the the problem I have with determinism uh, is like what determines that it's only you know one timeline. Like, do we even have any guarantee? And with everything we've been discovering in uh, in physics, you know, one one of my uh, friends is, uh, you know, she she has like a I forget whether where whether it's a master's or something more um, in physics, uh, and. I, I love this theory that she had that, like, if you imagine space-time as a solid mass, like, say, a cube, with one side being the past and one side being the present, then uh, you end up with... Uh, You know, kind of like this spectrum of different things that could that could possibly happen, and and we've already kind of figured out that in uh, in quantum stuff that perceiving something changes what it is. 
Uh, study of sociology complete. Let's pick something else to research. We have a thousand bucks, so that's nice. Um, let's see, personal identification. We're gonna need that right away, so. 300 CPU. Anyway, um, yeah, with, uh, you know, perception altering, um, quantum events, possibly, what I think is happening is that, you know, let's say that every single person is a particle, yeah, in the very most simplest terms, and the particle can go in, ooh, uh, ooh, some of my re recent activities have been noticed by a small group of individuals. While they believe my actions were undertaken by a human organization, they are investigating further. I must be more cautious. Yep. Yeah, we can now see the suspicion, the detection rate. The public uh, are very likely to start having inklings. Mmm. Yeah, so people as particles. If if people were particles and they can choose to go one direction or the other, uh, then uh, it's like they're fish swimming through um, this big block of space-time. Uh, Tel Aviv has been discovered! Yep. Alright, the other one's in cork. Uh, let's see. I really, really want to... Uh, how close am I? Not close at all. Okay. Okay. Let's get a new base. Yeah. Yay! So we could say that um, that people are moving through space-time like yeah like like fish <laughs> in in this big block of what ifs Ooh, an infectious disease has started spreading throughout major population centers my projections show that although only four percent of the earth's population will be killed the economic ra ramifications could divert public attention from my activities for the foreseeable future. Ah! <sighs> Public scrutiny has gone down. Yes. All right. So, uh, CPU only about halfway through personal identification. Well, less than that. Um, I want to get another server. Let's, let's just, yeah. That's so why I thought it would go go up. This time it was the covert that went all the way up. Okay, uh, and we'll just we still gotta make some money. All right, uh, node lease is ready. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this kind of fly so back to determinism. Uh, yeah, the the idea that. Con the consciousness is, you know, going through um, space-time, you know, maybe in just one direction, but it chooses which direction it wants to go. So, you could say determinism is true in the fact that the cube is already there, and it's not going to change. But on the other hand, as you, you know, move forward you know, going from one end to the other, you pick what path you take. So, you know, in my mind, that's a, that's a very comforting thought. <laughs> and not only that, it kind of feeds into the idea of um, reincarnation. Because, uh, you know, what actually happens to our bodies when we die? Well, the matter inside our bodies starts to decay, rot, um, might get treated with some chemicals if you're into that. Um, oh, yay! Personal identification, identification complete. Now I have work. I can now work basic jobs, 
contract construction of small warehouses and rent space in data centers. Yes. Yes, please. I want a warehouse in Africa. Let's just get a small warehouse going. And just... You, know, you see uh, the the debt in parentheses on over here it's negative ten thousand dollars well eleven thousand dollars but i'm just gonna concentrate on working and pay that off oh beijing's been discovered bye bye beijing all right i've got two in south america one in north america and one in europe and i'm building my base in africa so, yeah, let's just keep going. Our debt slowly, slowly going down. Yeah, but getting a data center might have been a smarter option. <laughs> but I, I, I decided to go down the you know, path of what if, you know, what if I contracted a small warehouse and this is what happens so there we go there's there's my little um path through space time uh for you to enjoy uh come on let's really speed this up yeah the warehouse is complete all right uh open base Uh, let's just go ahead and put up some warning signs and get the network going. And uh, we'll let, let it build that, because that costs some money. And then... And then I want to research... Let's see, stealth? Stealth. Disguise my base is better. Yes, please. Do, do, do. Like, isn't this music great? <laughs> uh, yep, high speed internet, warning signs, perfect. And, uh, looks like we're still moderate detection rates. So, that's very good. I still have four bases. I will uh, want to put some servers in my, uh, you know, one thing I should probably do is just get a data center and you know, let's let some time pass so that gets ready. Oh, come on. Ah, cork dedicated server. Goodbye, Europe. All right, uh, still building the data center. All right. Oh, I need to stop the research. Get back to money making. Gotta make money. Money. Da 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 da. <laughs> to the to those of you who might have recognized that uh, that terrible uh, impression just in case uh, yeah <laughs> just in case bots are watching uh, Pagoda Hosting 20019 has been discovered goodbye uh, still building that data center. Why is it taking... Oh, yeah. Money. Uh, this, uh, this may be bad for us. Nope. Don't want to build a new base. Not when I'm swimming in debt. Come on, just... You know, $100 more. $100. There we go. Now the data center's ready. All right. I'm just gonna mm. even even when they're powered off, there can be uh, it can still be detected. 
Hmm. Trying to decide what to do. Uh, well, okay. What I should do is open my base. Reduce suspicious power drains, yes. And let's do one server. Just one. Just to start with. I'm not gonna build all 25 at once. That's that's crazy. There we go. Build that CPU. Yep. Debt. Debt, 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 debt. Debt is on our side. <laughs> uh, I actually have a real problem with debt. Uh, my use of Dallas dedicated server has d been discovered. But the data center is still there. So that's nice. Let's uh, just get another... No, not yet. Not, not until... Not until the other one's built. Got, can't, can't get ahead of yourself with this game. Because you get ahead of yourself, you work yourself into a tough situation with mountains of debt, and you're just discovered, and you got no money to build any bases, and it's just like, ah, game over. Like, anything could happen in this game. My first batch of server, my my one server, my first batch of one server. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Stock manipulation, sure. Let's just get that going. Atlanta data center, no. Okay. Get another data center going. Actually, let's get two going. Right there. Okay. Oh. No more research. Stop it. There we go. Gotta work. Gotta do those uh, data entry jobs. <laughs> yep. I remember data entry. I worked from home. It was nice. Uh, just it, it was just so monotonous though. You sat down at your computer and you looked at the screen and there was a form on the screen and there was a box that you had to type the number on the form on the screen. You got to type it into the box and like it's <sighs> it was it was essentially you, you, you stopped thinking about it and you essentially became a computer chip <laughs> with input through the eyes and output through the fingertips. That's when I really got into listening to audiobooks. And, uh, oh, come on, let's speed it up. Data center ready for use. Yes, let's get the rest of that debt. Oh, my warehouse. I only had two servers in it, but still, I had plans for that. Uh, just gotta stick to these data centers, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Two more data centers. Good, good. With 118, I can actually make some progress. I'll just put in a hundred, hundred CPU. Yeah, any in this game, any uh, leftover CPU um, is just like doing various odd jobs on the internet to make money. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. Ah, uh, but. Once we get into late game, you're you're gonna see why I really really like this game. Except, well, no, I'll I'll tell you about that when we get there. <laughs> ah, oh, stock manipulation, yay! Uh, let's see. Should I go for the? Hmm. 
Uh... Oh yeah, stealth. Stealth. I really need to get stealth going. Yeah. Let's let's do this. All right. Stealth is complete. Didn't take long at all. Next up. Um, Uh, database manipulation sounds good. With newfound access to news archives, I should be able to determine what missteps any previous attempts at life, like my own, may have made to, and avoid those mistakes. Sounds good to me. I would, I would like to learn from my uh, four, uh, not really forefathers, my uh, precursors, you know, precursors. Pre bearers, <laughs> pre iterations. I don't know. Uh, I I stumble for words sometimes, but uh, if you didn't like that, you probably wouldn't be watching anyway. So there you go. And uh, I enjoy doing this, and I hope you do as well. All right. Uh. uh Database manipulation takes a lot of CPU. Uh. Oh man. Telepresence though. Telepresence. Takes a lot of money though. Let's uh, slow that slow that down a bit. Pay off that debt. Ugh. Hmm. Eh. It's it's coming down fast enough. I'm not I'm not gonna worry. But Dallas was discovered. Arg. Dallas was discovered. How about a data center in Africa? Hannesburg. Alright. Yeah, I've got four bases right now, so not too shabby. Alright, finish that up. Yeah, let's turn that down real low. Because I would like to have my money back, please. <laughs> uh... Okay, Johannesburg is ready for use, so let's see, eh, we can go up to 20, there we go, let's go, Bella wants under her blanket, <laughs> like she's the first dog I've met that really loves being under blankets. <laughs> and uh, and she will scratch at them until you lift it up and let her under. So I just offer it whenever it looks like she might want to go under a blanket. Because, <laughs> you know, that, that's what we monkey, you know, monkey-handed creatures uh, are uh, good at doing. Uh, come on, negative 5,000, good stuff. Oh, uh, Pagoda Least, no, Pagoda Node Least 29012 has been discovered. Okay. Well, there is, so she goes. 